Hi. Today's episode. We're going to visit one of the most iconic places in the world. The place where the name is derived from a Celtic tribe that migrated to its shores in the 3rd century BC. The Parisi. This is Switch Leaf Channel. Join us for a tour of the so-called, the City of Light. Paris. Paris is the capital of France. It is also the most populated city in the country. Here, we can see the Palais de la Cité. It consists of Conciergerie, Palais de Justice, and the Saint-Chapelle. It was the main palace of the medieval kings of France. It was called the City of Light, or La Ville Lumière, not only because of its leading role during the Age of Enlightenment, but it was also the first European city to use gas lamps, to illuminate streets throughout the city, during the 1829-1860s. And in this street, we can see the tip of Saint-Chapelle at the back, and at the front is Notre Dame Cathedral. Notre Dame Cathedral is considered to be, one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. It was mentioned in French Gothic novel by Victor Hugo, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, that was published in 1831, later on, it became an animated movie in 1996. The cathedral was under renovation when it caught fire on April 15, 2019, and now, its restoration is halted because of the pandemic. This is Pont Oeuf, the oldest standing bridge across the river La Seine. This is Hotel de Ville, the city's local administration, or the city hall. It has been the headquarters of the municipality of Paris, since 1357. This is the world's largest art museum, the Louvre or Musée du Louvre. It is also a historic monument in Paris. It estimated 38,000 objects from prehistory up to now, are exhibited over an area of 72,735 square meters. At the back is the Tuileries Palace. From medieval fortress to art museum, the Louvre Palace has undergone 800 years of architectural transformation, making it a representation of French history. Louvre is the most visited art museum in the world in 2019. It received more than 9 million visitors. Here, we arrive at Place de la République, originally called the Place du Château d'Eau. It named after the fountain designed by Pierre Simon Girard, built in 1811. The Tuileries Garden is temporarily closed. And now, we are going to the most iconic tower in the world. The Eiffel Tower. The symbol of the city of Paris. The famous landmark of most travelers. 
It was designed and constructed by a company led by engineer Alexander Gustav Eiffel and named after him. It stand firm against the wind and even the destructive wars in history. It was built from 1887 to 1889 as the entrance to the 1889 World's Fair. I want to show how beautiful the Eiffel Tower is at night, when its flashing lights start, but it's illegal. The Eiffel Tower's lighting and sparkling lights are protected by copyright. Another one of the most famous monuments here in Paris. The Arc de Triomphe de l'Etoile. The Arc de Triomphe was structured by Jean Chalgrin in 1806. The Arc de Triomphe praises the individuals who battled for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. with the names of every single French triumphant officers engraved on its internal and external surfaces. Underneath its vault lies the tomb of the unknown soldier from World War I. This is the Arc de Triomphe du Carousel, another triumphal monumental arch in the city, situated in the Place du Carousel. It is a case of Corinthian-style design. It was worked somewhere in the range of 1806 and 1808 to celebrate Napoleon's military triumphs of the earlier year. The Marais District A street going to the Republique metro station which is located below Place de la Republique This is Rue de Rivoli, one of the most famous streets in all of Paris. Add to the beauty of Paris is the River Seine, with the Palais de la Cité on the view. The Canal Saint-Martin is a 2.86 miles long waterway in Paris. Associating the Canal de l'Auerc to the calm water of Seine. We arrived at the Sacred Heart of Paris. The well-known Basilica. Sacré-Cœur Basilica or Basilique du Sacré-Cœur. It stands at the very top of the butte Martre, the most elevated point in the city. Its foundation stone was at last laid in 16th of June 1875 by architect Paul Abadie, who designed this basilica. The basilica was not finished until 1914, when war interceded. It was officially committed in 1919, after World War I. From here, take advantage of the beauty of the city. The city of light. Paris. This is Switch Leaf Channel. Saying, you will see the beauty. In the light. Thank you. And goodbye.